Anthony coming to you live right now with another DIY one for all video as we do it for one and for all. Anyway, I'm at my kitchen table once more and um, today I'm going to talk about charging a 24 volt and a 12 volt battery system using the same power source. And in my case, I'm going to use solar. I've had quite a few questions and um, people who are new to um, solar are maybe not as familiar with electronics like some others. They've asked, how is it that I can charge both a 24 volt and a 12 volt system from the same voltage source? Well, in order for us to do that, we have to understand the concept of a diode. And a diode has two parts to it. Um, it's a semiconductor um, device and I won't go into the physics of, um, of that but it has one part called an anode and a cathode and I'll just leave it right there I won't go into any details for those who are not as familiar with, with electronics but one thing that's very important is to note that a diode only allows electricity or current to flow in one direction and one direction only and you can think about the diode, like I, I put the illustration here, like the water tap coming from your pipe. Um, that tap in your kitchen or bathroom only allows the water to flow in one direction. When the water is coming down, the water will not back flow and go back up in the pipe whenever you turn the pipe on. So just think about the diode as in the same um, respect. Well, um, in order to charge both a 12 volt and a 24 volt system simultaneously, then um, of course you're going to need a 24 volt solar array. It could be a 24 volt solar panel. You're going to need two charge controllers. You're going to need a DC to DC step down converter. You're going to need a diode that is capable of handling the current that the DC to DC converter um, or actually that's coming from your your primary charge controller so I've, I've just I've drawn something up here just for illustration purposes um, of course you know not to scale or anything like that <laughs> just just to illustrate what I'm talking about here so here I have um, this is my solar array right here and I'm going to assume that this solar array already has a diode in it because it should Right. If you bought a, a solar array from um, a reputable company, they should have a diode already built inside a solar array. So I won't talk about that particular diode. The diode in this example is the one that we're going to add to, to this system. So here is a 24 volt um, charge controller which is connected directly to the 24 volt solar array. All right, and it, and from this 24 volt charge controller we're going to a 24 volt battery bank so as far as this charge controller is concerned the only voltage um, so uh, only only voltage um, output that it knows about is the 24 volt battery and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute and the reason why is because immediately after this um, 24 volt charge controller here we're going to connect to a DC to DC converter because we want to step the voltage down from 24 volts to about 14 volts in order to charge our um, 12 volt battery. But before we can go straight to the DC to DC converter, we should insert a diode right there in the middle and ensure that when you, whenever you install a diode that it is connected to the positive terminal um, of the output going from the 24 volt charge controller to the DC to DC converter so ensure it's on the positive terminal okay so here so you have a diode coming from your 24 volt um, charge controller going to your DC to DC converter and then that goes into your secondary charge controller so now with this DC to DC to DC converter, we're going to bump the voltage down from 24 volts to about 14 volts. 
and that goes into our secondary charge controller. So in that the voltage is about 14 volts or maybe 14.5. This secondary charge controller in that is a 12 volt or a 24 volt charge controller will think that it's getting um, 14.5 volts or 13 volts, you know, from a solar panel. It will not know otherwise. And also this 24 volt charge controller charge controller because of this diode here which only allows the current to flow in one direction this 24 volt charge controller will not have any knowledge of this um, charge controller down here because of this diode right so even though we're stepping down from 24 volts here to about 14 volts this 24 volt primary charge controller does not know that this um, secondary charge controller exists all right so from the secondary charge controller we go to our 12 volt battery and this but this charge controller will actually handle the charging of this 12 volt battery all right so this is very important and I just wanted to kind of just illustrate it. I, ho I hope it, you know, it's clear, um, not to scale as I said before, but I just wanted to illustrate what I have going on. And I ha actually have the same system um, in my solar shed. I have a 24 volt charge controller, then I have a diode immediately after that. And I go into my DC to DC converter. I step it down to about 14.5 volts. All right. And then I go, I, I connect it to my secondary charge controller and that actually goes to my 12 volt battery and in my solar shed um, my batteries my lawnmowers batteries are charged from this secondary charge controller right here this 24 volt um, battery that connects to my primary charge controller um, is connected to my inverter and that actually powers my shed so i just wanted to kind of just illustrate what I have going on here and just kind of show you guys. Um, I've had quite a few people who have asked me um, to just try to simplify it a little bit. So I hope I've done that um, just by showing you what I have going on here and how it's connected. And if you have any questions, guys, I will surely um, try to answer. And of course, this is Anthony coming to you live with another DIY one for all video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you and have a great day. Bye for now, guys.